Hi, I'm Alina. Today I'm going to talk about something that I've heard a lot about in my comment section. So we're going to talk about this problem of English learners where they feel that they are unable to make a progress in their career or unable to get a good job because of their poor English. Is this really a problem? Is this something that you really need to work on? The answer is yes. It is very much a real actual issue because that's the norm of the society. That's the norm of the corporate culture that we are thriving in. I mean, it's something that is going on. I've been a part of the corporate culture myself and I very much understand that English is the most prevalent language over there. Now, before I offer you my piece of advice, I have four things to suggest to you on this, okay? And all four of them are good. Just hear me out for the next two or three minutes. It's going to make all the sense in the world to you. Everything is going to come together. What is happening is that there are five, mota mota, five levels of jobs that are there in a corporate. The top three are managerial level. The topmost is your CXO position. You call them the chief technical officer, chief executive officer, the CEOs and CTOs of the organization. You are the higher most, senior most management. After the senior management, you have the middle level of management. These are people uh, whom you call your senior managers, the head of the departments and all. Yeah. And then you have the last level of management that is the first level of management okay so this is first and second and third and third is the highest these are very much the people who are the part of management but they are at a lower level these are your assistant managers and people okay and after these three levels you've got the senior staff these are experienced people they have been working in the corporate for some time but haven't really gotten a chance to become a manager okay so you have the senior staff or the experienced staff and then the last comes your entry level jobs whom you call freshers let's first talk about the entry level job the fresher level i personally feel that you do not need a very good command over english to crack that level of interview okay not much is expected you've got good spoken english very good for you if you do not have a very good command over english will still work for you so there are mock interviews that are available on various websites just start taking those mock interviews they will help you prepare the answers to the generally asked questions of interviews okay and then you can rehearse them practice those questions and when somebody asks that question to you it is going to be much easier for you because you've already rehearsed it you've already practiced it okay then another way is watching all these youtube channels they're very good ones you've got my channel to help you with all the stuff I've made several videos on cracking interviews. Watch those videos, choose the best answers, rehearse them, practice them, okay? So entry level job, I do not feel that you need a lot of huge command over English. It will work, okay? But, but in order to survive or in order to get into the management level of a job, that is when you need good english senior level management let's understand what are these people who what do they do so these are the people who are responsible for getting new clients for the company these people are responsible for retaining those clients right and these people are responsible for getting the work done from the lower levels of the hierarchy so these people require the best kind of communication skills senior level management is the management level where you require the best comm skills in the world. Now the good thing is, when I'm talking about the top three levels of management of a company, the good thing is that while you enter one of these, you are already in the corporate for several years. And when you are in the corporate, you're so exposed to English all around you that learning English should not be a problem then. Because you will be speaking in English, you will be listening to a lot of English and then English becomes easier for you because that's how you're spending eight to nine hours of your day. Talking about the middle level management and the lower level management, again, comm skills play a huge role in at, at any level of management. So we've spoken about the entry level jobs. We have spoken about the management level. We've understood that at entry level, you are just beginning your career, so not much is expected. Little bit of fluency will also work, 
all right and i told you the idea of rehearsing your interviews all right that will work it will work talking about the management level jobs com skills spoken english imperative mandatory now why am i addressing this issue in this way why am i talking about the levels of management i'm talking about this because i want you to understand that i am not accepting complaints okay the thing that you say that nahi ho pa raha hai ma'am kaise hoga kyu zaruri hai why is it necessary why do i have to be master in english in order to do well in my career these are complaints they are not going to get you far you need to get out of your complaint zone and enter your effort zone okay and that is why we are talking about this now moving on to the four points that i have for you the first thing that i'm going to talk about the tip number 1 that i have for you is for beginners let's talk about the beginners first now if you are at a level where you just can't speak any english at all what can then be done because i cannot ask you to practice because you just do not know how to speak even a single sentence so what can be done then in that case there's one thing that you can start doing and that is start taking an english course i am about to launch my own english course very soon i've started shooting it i've started recording it but for now my english course is still in the making you can take whatever course is available to you wherever you are satisfied whomever you like okay take an english course spend some money take an english course and start learning start taking your baby steps apart from that there are some very good youtube channels that are available start learning from those channels okay take help wherever it is available take help now second is a very good one that i have for you it's the it's the best thing that can work for you and that is practice start practicing more often now when i say practice i am expecting a certain level of english already there in your head okay start practicing more learn to get uncomfortable with yourself it's all right to be uncomfortable in order to learn something that can change your life it's okay to face some embarrassment it's okay for people to laugh at you as i said in my previous video little laughter on you through you for you is going to just give them some moments of happiness right let them have that happiness you have your confidence and your experience every time you make a mistake you're more confident because you've learned something new and you're more experienced next time you will not make this mistake you will make some other mistake and that's how you learn before i continue i want to tell you guys about skill link let's face it engineering colleges very often don't prepare you well for jobs as they don't give you practical knowledge skill link provides you with pg and short term programs that you can take up to upskill yourself in specific technologies you learn from industry experts then work on practical projects to successfully graduate from the program then skill link's team helps you get industry ready and helps you get hired from electric vehicles to ai and from autonomous vehicles to structural design you will find a course on their platform that suits you your career and your dreams they offer industry relevant programs with structured projects across numerous engineering domains that will help you get to the next level if you are an engineering student looking to learn or a graduate who is looking to break into the industry or even an early stage professional looking to upskill you can benefit from it you can take a free demo session on skill link by visiting the link i shared in the description of this video you can also opt for an exclusive 15% discount offer by registering here what we've done is we've made a sheet for you okay now go to this url there is a page like this it has all the ideas that a person can follow to practice english now this is a question that keeps appearing to us every now and then and we had to do something about it so we made this page okay so start following this page whatever ideas are enlisted there start using them okay and that's how you will never be lagging on what to do next what can i do to practice english because there are all the ideas in the sheet they're going to help you choose one two every day and let your practice go on ah uh -huh. before i move to point number 3 there's one more thing english can be practiced with a partner or it can be practiced without a partner 
either ways is possible, right? And this sheet has all those ideas. You can practice alone and you can practice with somebody. Now let's move on to point number three, and that is showing some courage. Now, there are many of you out there who have a certain level of proficiency in English. You know you can write English properly. When you listen to English, you exactly know what is being talked about, right? So you have pretty good command over English already. It's just that your spoken English is not too good. And you are probably, I mean, you have the skill, you have the knowledge. The only thing lagging is your courage. You're unable to show up for yourself, to stand up for yourself. You've got to be a little more courageous. Whenever the opportunity shows up, you have to show up for yourself. The next time there's a chance to make a small speech in the public, do it. What is stopping you? Do it. Because that is how you're going to build your confidence. That is how you're going to keep moving up. One step at a time. It's always that way for everybody. Next point is about soft skills. What are soft skills? Soft skills are... Um, you can speak good English. Um, you can communicate well, but, but you do not appear friendly. People don't want to talk to you. They are okay away from you. They don't want to walk up to you. Big problem, major problem. By soft skills, I mean that you have to be a good listener. You have to be a sweet talker. Okay. When people talk to you, they, they should find you friendly enough. They should feel that you should communicate in a way that people find you approachable. They want to come up to you and talk to you. The people who can lure other people, the people who can fascinate other people are the ones who are most successful in corporate jobs. Develop an aura, a certain friendliness about yourself, a certain positive vibe about yourself so that the people find you helpful and they want to come up and talk to you okay they think you're a problem solver and not a problem creator never be the part of a problem always be a part of a solution remember that okay let's move on to point number five next point is my favorite point next point is keep watching now listen to me carefully keep watching alina rai's life Okay, because I'm going to always motivate you, always. I'm going to always help you with your communication skills, your English, your confidence, your soft skills and everything and anything. All right. So just keep watching this channel. Subscribe if you haven't yet and learn with your friends. Involve other people in your learning. It's going to help you. Okay, I'll be back again. You take care of yourself. Thank you very much for listening to me till here. Bye-bye.